ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਵੈਸਟ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਸਾਂਜੀ ਗਲਬਾਤ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਟੂ ਆਰਟਿਸਟਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਸ ਸਾਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਸਾਫ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਸਪਟੈਂਬਰ ਦੀ 28 ਤਰੀਕ ਤੋਂ ਅਕਟੂਬਰ ਦੀ 1st ਤੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਥੀਮ ਹੈਗੀ ਪਾਥ ਬ੍ਰੇਕਰਸ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਸਾਊਥ ਏਜੀਅਨ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਥਰੂ ਸਿਨੇਮਾ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਮਾ ਬਾਰੇ ਮਾ ਦਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਅਗਰੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਪੇ ਮਾ ਦਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਉਹਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਰੀਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਸੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਸਟਾਰਿਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਪੋਜ਼ਰ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਅਸਾਨੀ ਜੀ ਅਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਸਲਾਮ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਮੁਬਾਰਕਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਵਨ ਸਮ ਅਵਾਰਡਸ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਯਾ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਗਾਟ 2021 ਐਂਡ 2022 ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਨੋਮਿਨੇਟਡ ਟਵਾਈਸ ਫॉर ਦੀ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ 뮤직 ਅਵਾਰਡਸ ਐਸ instrumental artist of the year. Mm-hmm. That's quite an accomplishment. Thank you so much. You're doing yes. very well. Thank you. And now with Isaf, we've got Lullaby for Gully. Yes. I've seen it. It's beautiful. Thank you. So now I want our before we talk about it, I want our viewers to have a look. Yes, so let's, let's have, have a look. look. Yeah. At the clip. Sunny ji tell me about what inspired you to make this film it's beautiful i know the story but our viewers would also like to know um my inspiration has been since i was born it's my mother uh, so i think mothers are the oldest relationship uh, a person has that's true uh, the first person you come in contact with and mothers are the first teachers uh, first carers you learn to love someone from the way your mother loves you. That's right. And I was very fortunate that uh, my mother was uh, to me 
लाइक आई वुड से यू नो खुदा का एक रूप यू नो लाइक लाइक आफ्टर गॉड लाइक यू नो इट्स लाइक यू सी द सेम एनर्जी वाइफ इन इन मदर सो आई वॉज always uh, inspired and also i spent uh, about like uh, a long time away from my mother oh. because i was born in pakistan okay. but then uh, to study music i went to england okay. and uh, and then in 2014 when my mother passed away right. i just thought like uh, like, like a big vacuum and i of thought course. oh what had happened yeah. why didn't i you know so all these things happened life changing experiences uh, still uh, i think um, of my mother a lot so obviously right. uh, the, the least i can do is uh, because like you know my mother was very playful and she would tell me stories i was like 5 or 6 years old she would tell me jokes and she would sing songs to me okay. so lullaby so i thought that you know how can i honor my mother oh. so because mothers always are giving so much and uh, singing lullabies to the children passing knowledge and stories and wisdom i thought why don't i as a son write a lullaby for mothers my and mother's, your mother's name my my mother is called gulli yes so this is a lullaby for my mother right gulli. yeah so when you were little she would sing to you and that kind of inspired you to become musical <laughs> yes 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 yeah. um because um even like the reason that i went into music is probably because of my mother because yeah. she had a very open outlook to to life okay. and uh, allowed me the freedom right yeah. so in the we watched the clip um in that clip we saw a recurring theme of that the blue pendant Mm. Tell me about that. Okay. What's the significance? So so the last time I saw her yeah. um uh, I was doing a tour in Dubai I was I had a performance so it's near Karachi so I went to Karachi to see my mother so I bought a a gold uh, necklace with a turquoise so beautiful, yeah, beautiful. So, you know yeah. so I bought that and I gave it to her Oh my god. Uh, but our, unfortunately she took it and she was happy but she couldn't she never wore it outside she passed away 3 weeks later. Oh wow. So that was the last thing that I gave her as a gift right. that locket so uh, and I now have it and that is a uh, like a reminder you know how precious times are and of course whenever you can express something to your loved ones you know right. uh, it makes a yeah. So aside from that piece of jewelry in the clip, what other things in the clip do we see that are significant of your relationship with your mother? What are the things maybe the music choice, the sound, the the setting? Yeah. So basically like uh I think musically speaking um music happens when things come to you when you're not trying. Okay. You don't say okay this afternoon I'm going to compose you know it just happen like <laughs> from 2 to 3 I'm going to sit down and and compose right yeah so it's an inspiration a melody came to me once and I thought oh this is a very haunting beautiful melody right. and then I stayed with it for a while and I kept playing it and then I started thinking of my mother and then it took shape from there right uh, it just and- flowed Yeah. Yeah. And also in the making of the video what was really challenging because like uh, uh regarding this video the best feedback that or comment that I ever got was somebody said that so much poetry without a single word. Ah. It evokes emotion. It evokes emotion. Yeah. So how do you make a film without words? Right. Right? So yeah. that's a very difficult task, extremely difficult task because yeah. you have to tell a story. So if it's like a just a music video because this is not a music video, it's like no. a story, it's, a story. it's like a film, yep. right? It's like a short film. Right. Uh so you have to you have no words to use to ex- express. Yeah. And so I had to really choose very carefully, you know, who's going to be the actor, who's going right. to like so there's a there's a person he's he's also called actually Muhammad Ali, I'm called Muhammad. So he's like a mini version of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's a, yeah. he's a uh, like a cute boy like about 5 or 6 years old you know yes. he he plays my role you yes. know and also the wonderful Rachel Vikaji she is a, a well known actress uh, a singer okay. from she uh, featured in Coke Studio Pakistan oh, wow. but she's That's also Coke yeah, Studios Coke Studio yeah. okay. and she's wonderful person to work with so Rachel uh, I approach Rachel so she played as, as my younger mother okay. with a younger boy right. so you will see both uh like me as a younger person right. and me uh, later on uh, you know okay. when i'm uh, older so i'm also acting in it so the whole thing the, the thing about the film is that uh, 
um, the the way the story is told, and I hope you know we were lucky that uh, that it came out. The narrative came out really strong, right. and because all the actors uh, in the film felt the the music and the story, and they were touched yeah. by it, it kind of translated into quite an emotional. And uh, one of the things that I often find them when people watch, most people would have some tears in their eyes. I, I have to be honest with you. I've seen this before. Prior today, I've seen it, and I watched it. And although there's no words. I felt emotion. Like I felt like I couldn't hold back tears because everyone has a mother. You know, everyone has that connection, that bond. And seeing the young boy with his mother, and then you know we get older and that relationship, and that's just the way of life. Yeah. But it's it's it brings that emotion forward that you think about your your own demise, yeah. and you know you lose your mother and you want to see her one last time. Yeah, one last time. Yeah. One last time. That's got to be difficult. How many years were you away? From your mother? Many years, uh, about 25 years or so. Really? So, like, because I was studying, then I became yeah. a teacher, then I became a performer, and then I had a life in England, then I came here. Right. I, I visited her, but not enough. Right. That's always the thing, like, when somebody passes by, there is never enough. You want more time. One more day. Yeah, one more day. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, so what other inspirations um, besides, I mean, obviously your mother is the biggest inspiration, but uh, getting to where you are now, what other inspirations have you had in your life? Um, basically, I'm very passionate about uh, different cultures. Okay. You know, so that reflects in my music as well. So musically, when I studied in England, uh, in my college, when I'm so I'm I'm leaving Pakistan and I'm going to study piano, but in my co college uh, there was a very famous tabla player from India called Pandit Charada Sai. Okay. He was there. And I said, okay. Tabla, you know, I never thought I've come here to study piano. Right. And one very famous uh, sitar player visited called Saad Nishad Khan. There were people from um, Indonesia teaching gamelan, uh, Balinese music uh, from, from Bali as well. Oh, wow. There were teachers from Africa. Uh, plus also all the like European music uh, teachers, you know, who were teaching there. Okay. So it was like a melting pot. So this <laughs> college is called Darlington College of Arts. Okay. That's where uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar also taught for a year. Uh, what a is, while ago. What is the name of the College of Arts? Dartington College of Arts. Okay. And it was founded by two people, one philanthropist called Almhurst, but also it was uh, actually uh, imagined by uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. So in a way, I went away from home. Right. But I, I landed in a place that was very close to home in a way. Right. And, uh, you know, so that that really inspired me. Like, there's Japanese music. Uh, sometimes we had beautiful gardens in the college. And, like, in the morning, the, yeah. there's this uh, amazing shakuhachi player from Japan, Yoshikazi Iwamoto. He would be practicing. So I'm thinking, you know, like, I am playing, I'm learning Western music. Right. And I'm also learning about the raga in Indian classical music. Right. But also there is this Japanese uh, flute player. <laughs> He's also playing modes, which is similar to the raga. Right. And so when you're in an environment like that, you start to realizing that really music is a language with different accents and different kind of like vantage point people are looking at but if you spend long enough time being exposed to different then that's when i really understood that you know music is a language i know people say it that right. music is a language right. but to understand that right. is one thing yes. and and the way to understand is to actually really be exposed to many different diverse you know um, kind of like influences. Absolutely. That sounds like a really great opportunity because you are right. It is a language. Exactly. Uh, and ironically, it's, you have no, there's no words to what you've composed yet. There's that emotion, which that can emotion. be appreciated by every culture. Yeah. So it yeah. is interesting that although you all didn't speak the same language, yeah. you could all appreciate what yes. the message is. The message music is. is the one universal language, yeah. I guess. Yeah. There's a lot of symbolism and uh, music is a supreme language because yes. it, it is understood by all. Not all languages are understood by all, but right. music had that. And that's why I, I see music as being uh, very close to spirituality as well. Right. Absolutely. And there's music therapy. That's I mean, when people therapy. are not well, they say, listen to music and that'll get your serotonin levels yeah. up and you'll yeah. be happier in life and that kind of yeah. thing. So definitely evo uh, evokes emotion as well as Absolutely. happiness in people. Absolutely. So it is a therapy. Yeah. Um, tell me about the setting, because I know that there is the the setting that you chose 
why did you choose that setting? Uh, so, so basically, I wanted something extremely beautiful okay. uh, to show that I uh, you know how a mother and a child are bonding. Yeah. So you see, like a, a young version of me and and young version of my mother walking by the holding beach, hands, yeah. and it's it's a very beautiful. I mean, BC is beautiful and holding by the beach, and we had great light and and also like I worked with pool service production, uh, very great. You know, they did a great job. That, you know, the whole thing. Uh, so. What uh, what what you will see is like a really beautiful setting, but then there is a section where on my sitar yes. you will hear distortion. So I've used some effects that makes it sound like a rock, a rock kind oh, of like sound. That graffiti wall. That graffiti wall. Right. So there's all these like you know um, between the, the the beautiful like ocean and the and the beach. There is this like like a place where there is like, you know, like a very deserted, kind of like very urban, yeah. kind of like not very, uh, you know, it's a bit kind of edgy. Right. You see the edge, right? Yes. And there's graffiti. Right. So that is a time when I'm like away from my mother. So oh. that is a contrast, like, you know, and then every now and then you'll see Rachel walk behind me. Uh, and so she's like the spirit of my mother is around me. Oh my goodness. Uh, Okay. When I'm not in good places. Oh, I can feel, I can actually yeah. feel that you're getting emotional. Yeah. I can feel I and I'm so sorry. No, okay. <laughs> it is difficult. Um, but yeah, you've done a, a great job to make sure that the setting matches the music, mm -hmm. matches the emotion. Matches the emotion. Um, yeah, I, I know it's difficult for you to talk about this. But Sometimes, yes, it yeah, is. Of course, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, it is a nice thing that you've made this because not only is it a love letter to your mother, mm -hmm. but all of the mothers, you know? Exactly. All Sometimes mothers. sons can't express yeah. what they feel, but mm -hmm. you've done such a good job of it so i would say that everybody should bring their kids to watch this yeah bring their mothers and mothers and and <laughs> right. even the fathers right well, because yeah, i true. think like uh, i have a daughter and honestly i often think that i am like my mother to my daughter yeah of course because that's what i've learned from yeah. her yes all they say sanskar right whatever yes. sanskar you have you how you care for a child you learn Absolutely. yeah yeah Oh, well, that's so nice to hear yeah. and do you have siblings Yes, I have. I'm the youngest one of six. Are they musical as well? Um, yeah, some of them are musical. So you're yeah. the baby of the family. I'm the baby of the family. The favorite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I knew you were. My I mom's favorite, were. of your course. Your mom's favorite, of course. So do you <laughs> remember any lullabies that your mom sang you? Uh, there were, there's quite a few, yeah. Yeah, do you want to share one with us now? I, no, I would leave it with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe there's a chance I could get you to sing something. Fine enough, you know, fair enough. Work. I tried, I you, tried. You did try, I'll give it that But that's you. okay, we will just watch it in the theaters and we'll appreciate Lullaby yeah. for Gully. Yeah, please come uh, If you watch. could please, of course we will. One time I want you to give our viewers a message because uh, we've talked a lot, but one message you can give to our viewers right at that camera there. So my message uh, to the listeners is that uh, spend quality time with your loved ones, uh, treasure your parents, and uh, and also like uh, parents who are young, um, also be mindful how you treat your own children because that's how they're going to learn how to treat their, their children. So whatever love that you pass on to your children would be passed on to their children. So it's a chain, keep it beautiful. And uh, another thing that I'd like to say is that like in your life, like keep up some sort of creativity that feeds your soul. Um, I, I, I think, uh, you know, like we, we talk about worshiping and ibadat. So I think creativity is also a form of ibadat for me. Uh, so keep creating something beautiful. And um, lastly, I would like to thank my wonderful team for Lullaby for Goli. Uh, I'd like to thank the actors uh, actresses, uh, Rachel Vikhaji, um, Ali Mohammed Virani, um, Kamal Dingra, and also I'd like to thank my producer uh, Dallas Saur and the Pool Production Service. I'd also like to say a special thank to one of my sponsors, um, Malani Jewelers, and the support from Factor Foundation Canada. And uh, I'd like to thank you, Sonia Ji and Sanj TV and the International South Asian Film Festival. Have a terrific day and we would love to see you there. Thank you. Very good. That's Thank you so time. much for the message to our viewers and I look forward to seeing it again and again. I mean, it's beautiful. So congratulations on that. Thank and, you so uh, much. I think we'll share one small clip. Please. Another one, just because it's so beautiful. Okay. So why not? We'll, we'll yeah. have a, a look at another clip. That'd be awesome. Thank you.
ਉਮੀਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪਸੰਦ ਆਈ ਲਲਬਾਈ ਫਰ ਗਲੀ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਚ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਗੈਸਟ ਦਾ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਬੜਾ ਯੂਨੀਕ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਹੈ ਫਿਲਮ ਦਾ ਫਿਲਮ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਗਿਆ ਚਤਰੰਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਫਿਲਮ ਮੇਕਰ ਸਦਾਰਤਾ ਮੁਰਜਾਨੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਨਮਸਤੇ ਨਮਸਤੇ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਲਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਮ ਗੁੱਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਯੈਸ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਐਕਸਾਈਟਿਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਦਾ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫਿਲਮ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਜ਼ chaturanga yeah chaturanga yeah what does that mean so modern day chess originate from a game in india called chaturanga chaturanga this is what what the generals used to play okay. to to strategize so so it's not played exactly like chess okay. what we know is chess today right but it chess evolved from that so it's a tactical game like exactly it's a board think. you have tactics and stuff right. so it okay. chess modern day chess evolved from that Right so tell me so that's that's good to know. Yeah. Um you're educating the public as well as a, a unique concept because yeah. it's not just a a run of the mill chess idea. No. no. Tell us a bit about the film without okay. giving it all away because sure. we are going to show it to our viewers yeah, but yeah, yeah. tell us a bit about it. So the story is basically Tanvi um the protagonist she just lost her father. Okay. Her father was an AI scientist so her father has left her a humanoid AI to take care of her. so artificial intelligence correct right this humanoid ai has a message for her but she can only unlock the message if she beats the ai in a game of chess oh wow okay so and the, uh, so this film um we shot it in 2 days only 2 days oh, not only <laughs> do we shot it for 2 days we wow. wrote it yep and we shot it and edited it in 2 days because for a competition called run and gun now okay. it's uh i've had i've made films before and one of my films played uh for the last 4 years since 2019 i've had a film played at isaf okay known as visaf before right and in 2019 my film won the best short but most of my films are very dialogue heavy okay so this is the first time i'm experimenting uh with visual storytelling So right. there's dialogues right. but it's very limited. Okay. And it takes place in the woods. So viewers that are watching this like I know we spoke to Muhammad Dasani earlier yeah. in the yeah. program and it was the lack of any kind of communication except for through music. Correct. How are viewers cuz it's not music that's in your film what it, how are people understanding what's happening without any with a, with very limited dialogue? So uh there's music. Okay. The composer did a fantastic job. Okay. Her name is Sora Hyun. Uh, she's Korean. Very cool. <laughs> she she did an amazing diverse. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our crew was very diverse. Okay. Um we have a producer Regina who's Chinese Canadian, uh Amit co-producer who's also Indo-Canadian. Yeah. The actors, uh the person who's playing the AI, Trey, she's Taiwanese. Okay. And the main protagonist Indo-Canadian, Chavi right. and Trey. And so, where are you from? We'll just slip that in there. Oh well. yeah, true. Uh I'm originally from Bali, Indonesia. Wow. My parents are from India. Okay. But if you go way back, my gra- my ancestry is from Sindh in Pakistan. Okay. But they had to leave because of the partition. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So you have a diverse group that's come together to make this and how are our viewers able to understand? So there's okay. music. So so the music plays a big part of it, the composing. Okay. There is a voice over to right. kind of explain and there's some small dialogues, but the visual storytelling. The woods. Exactly. In the woods, <laughs> it cuts uh, it it changes to them growing up together when they are kids. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to name there's a child actress as well right. who plays the young Tanvi. Okay. It was her first time on camera, Anaya Rashid. Okay. So she did an amazing job. How exciting. Okay. Amazing job. Yeah. And also and also this film was shot overnight. So we shot at 11 p.m. Okay. to 11 a.m. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's quite uh, the yeah. project. <laughs> yeah. And uh we had we had a quite a big crew. We I was very fortunate because my crew was amazing. Yeah. Even the DP Brian Chung, um Indo uh, Chinese Canadian, yeah. the editor Cindy, amazing. Uh the sound person Kendrew Eli did an amazing job. It's like I had an idea. I wrote it, I wrote it down and they took it to the next level with whatever vision i had and it's right. yeah so when you watched it yeah. after it was all done you saw your vision i not only saw my vision i saw extra 10 times i was watching it at the library i couldn't stop watching it 50 times there must be something so gratifying in yeah. watching your vision and then more like, yeah that's exciting it's it's um 
the I know my film, but it still evokes emotion in me. Yeah. That's how, how much I felt with the film. And, and the overall theme is a battle with yourself. Okay. Because um, the main protagonist has to kind of beat her surrogate mother in a game of chess to unlock a message. Right. But if she doesn't beat her surrogate mother, her, right. this artificial intelligence who's supposed to take care of her. Yeah. She won't unlock the message, so the stakes are very high. Right. But yeah, there's there's a reveal at the end. Obviously, obviously yep. I'm not going to say that. You right. have to watch it to figure we'll out. Show it. That's right. And another intriguing thing is, how do you beat an AI in chess, a game of logic? Yeah. Because well, you shouldn't be able to. But in in historically, we'll even the best chess players cannot beat an AI. Right. Because the AI learns from data, and the AI will eventually. So how does, exactly, yeah. so how does Thanvi beat the AI? Okay. Or does she? <laughs> I don't know. You got to watch it. <laughs> so this is exciting. We are going to watch uh, the film in its entirety because it is a very short film. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be in the theaters before Dilruk, which that's is another correct. film that's going to be featured in the Asaf yeah. program. Which you are in. Which, yeah, that's right. I have a small uh, voiceover part. In There's no small you roles. But that's you're true. In that. That's true. Thank you for mentioning it. Yeah. A little plug for me. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but tell me, how did you get to this point? Because it's very exciting to watch your your vision come to life. Yeah. Uh, where did you start from and how did you... Tell me about your journey. Okay. Thanks yeah. for asking. Of course. Yeah. It's been a long journey, actually, to be here. And I'm still like... So I started out in acting. I graduated from Vancouver Film School. Okay. Uh, 2014. I graduated in acting. Was acting a few, few uh, small roles here and there. Right. Didn't get any big parts. Then I began, cry, re, cry, began writing my own content. Yeah. So in 2016, I began writing, making my own short films and stuff okay and so i kept just you know keep keeping creative keep struggling and yeah. in 2019 i made a film called the interview okay which is basically an interview which is an interview like what we're doing today yeah. but instead of being questioned about a job he's being questioned about what makes him happy huh. so the interview is a philosophy on what actually brings happiness right. and when i submitted that film to isaf 2019 previously known as Visa. Yes. I was shocked that it actually won Best Short. Amazing. And after that, it just gave me the motivation to keep creating. Right. So then the year after that, 2020, 2020, just before COVID hit, we shot a film called Gratitude. Oh, okay. Which is a comedy. Yeah. It takes place in an Indian restaurant. Okay. Um, and you have all these people coming in and they're complaining they don't have the, the table they want. But it's a it's a metaphor on being appreciative of what you have, whether you're in a relationship, you're single, or it's complicated. Right. Yeah. There's a silver lining to everything, and that sounds like a first world problem. Yeah. To be like, I didn't get the table I yeah. want. Yeah. When people don't even have a table sometimes to have the food that they want. Exactly. It's a gratitude. Yeah. Great. Well, that's a good message. Then last year uh, we had a film called Remnants. I co-created, co-produced, and co-directed that with a friend of mine, Charlene Phelps. Okay. It's a heist comedy. Okay. So That's exciting. yeah, I've been like playing with genres. Yeah. Because when you make short films, you you have the, you can explore. You know. Right. You can try new things, and this is what I did with Chaturanga. Yeah. I tried something new where I wanted to tell a visual a story through visual storytelling. Right. And through chess, through AI, and see how. It, obviously, I know all my flaws with my films. I know there are flaws. <laughs> Nothing's perfect. Right. But uh, this is the short version. This is because we made it in two days. We do have an extended version, which we'll release next year. Okay. And that's longer. It has more. But this one will be like very short. Four minutes, 30 seconds done. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing what you can get accomplished. If you got, the, like you talked about your team with all these components coming together and it's better than what you would even imagined. Yeah. Um, so it's exciting. We're looking forward to seeing that. And then, of yeah. course, the extended version coming up. Yeah. But uh so how did you choose the music? You talked about oh, the music okay. it was a big part of, you know, the message. Yeah. How did you choose it personally? What so so the way it, uh, so once the way it works in film is that first you have you shoot it. Okay. Then you go to the editing room with the editor, Cindy in this case. So right. we, we do a picture lock. Picture lock basically means okay, this is the story we want to tell. Okay. So it's done. Okay. Now we send it to the composer. Okay. So I send it to Sora. Right. So Sora's like, okay, what do you want? I'm like, I trust you. Do your magic. <laughs> and that's what she did. Okay. okay, and you just said, 
Do you imagine? So she sent me a feet. She sent me a cut. I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Just like that. Uh, so uh, besides the magic, if somebody was trying to do this, they would say, "I want to evoke maybe anger in people." Yeah. Or I want to make people feel happy, so then they'll yeah. match it to the. Yeah. Is that how they do it normally? Yeah, you can do that, but you also want it to be a flow. Okay. Like Muhammad was saying, there has to be a flow. You can't plan creativity. Right. You can't be like like you were saying two to three. Yeah. I'm going to be creative. It doesn't <laughs> That's work right. that feel way. Feel angry from two to three. Yeah. All the anger you have. It doesn't. Sometimes it just comes to you, and sometimes I'll be chilling, and I'm like, "Oh, this is a good idea. I need to write it down. Shh, right. write it down, and I let the script boil for a few months, and then yeah. like, okay, now this is you know. Right. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to a poster designer, Alejandro Garcia. He's Latin. You can look right in the camera and do that. Too. Oh yeah, Alejandro Garcia. I I want to make sure because he helped me with my previous film, and I forgot to mention him. <laughs> I want to mention him now. Alejandro Garcia. He was a production designer, and he was the poster designer as well. Okay. So if you look at the poster, you like it, it's because of Alejandro Garcia. So Alejandro <laughs> Garcia. See, I, I will always say it now. And in fact, when I go to Isaf, I'll be yelling Alejandro. Alejandro. Yeah, Alejandro Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> See, but you know what? It's it's we're laughing here, and it's a very informal interview because I think at the heart of it, like you said, everything just flows. Yeah. If I said to you, it's a very scripted. You know, we're going to do this interview, and it's very scripted from two to three, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But instead, you're there's the emotion. You yeah. appreciate Alejandro. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what it is, is the relationships yeah. to come together to make something amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. I'm, I'm very excited to see that. Um, so tell me more about your inspirations besides, you know, going through all this training. You know, uh, what other, what are your inspirations like maybe growing up? What kinds of things, like when you were a little boy, what did you want to be? Did you know you were going to become a filmmaker, a mm. writer? No. What did you think? <laughs> I wanted to be a professional soccer player. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah I, I used to play soccer a lot right or football in Europe they call it football yeah and uh, <laughs> I only got into films when I did a play so I went to I did my economics degree in Hamilton McMaster oh, wow. University okay when I was there I was uh, I tried for a play I auditioned for a play right just for fun just to see what it was I never just for fun <laughs> and I got, here we are today <laughs> yeah okay and I got the main antagonist role. And then it was my first time on theater in theater, and I loved it. Right. But I still didn't think of film acting as a career. I was like, it doesn't seem stable. Right. Right. Yeah. But so I I did start my own business in web and graphic design. I was doing well, but my my soul was hungry. Yeah. Like my soul was hungry, so I said, okay, I'm going to apply for film school. The only film school I wanted to go into was Vancouver Film School. Right. And I say, if I don't get in, that means it's not meant to be. Okay. So I applied. <laughs> I got a scholarship. Oh, wow. So it was meant to be. So I went there. I, I did my acting program for a year. Yeah. Intense, intense. Learned a lot. And after that, I realized, oh, okay. It's not going to be easy. Right. It's still not easy. Yep. And I appreciate, you know, having Sanja TV, having you, Sonia, to have me here to, you know, tell my story, have my crew I hope I didn't forget anyone. If I forget anyone, I'm really sorry. But your credits are all on IMDb and on the Instagram <laughs> tags. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, now for me is cr creating stories and mm -hmm. telling stories is like part of my life. Right. Like I have to make films. I have to. It's because I feel, I feel like when I talk to people, mm -hmm. I like I have, I have friends from all kinds of backgrounds and. When I talk to them, it's like some of them are in business, some of them are engineering, and I, and they're doing well financially, and they're doing, you know. Right. But when I talk to them, sometimes I feel like there's a creative spark that's missing. Right. And they feel like maybe they don't express themselves, and I think as human beings, we need that. We need to express ourselves creatively. Right. Yeah. I think um, what you're, what I hear you saying is that you need to have something that feeds your soul. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not doing something that you enjoy, you're not really living. Yeah. So you're yeah. living. Yeah. You're enjoying yourself, and you're doing different genres. I've heard you. the The themes of your films yeah. are quite different. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exciting that you're trying new things. Yeah. Um. So I will get you to give a message to our viewers who are watching now. You can yeah. tell them anything you want about the film or about life or yeah. any optimistic uh, viewpoint you want to share with them. Anything you want, you can just look right in that camera. For sure. My message for you is to find the definition of success that means for you. Don't follow other people's definition of success. And I also want to give a special thanks to my cast and crew. A lot of people worked at this project. So I'm just going to re really quickly t say thank you to the people that are responsible for Chaturanga. Executive producer Raj Juwanda from William F. White that provided our gear. 
uh, Regina Lung, Amit Duga, uh, Cass Chavi, and Anaya Rashid that played um, Tanvi, Trey Sai played the AI, Director of Photography, Brian Chung, Assistant Director, Patricia, Production and Post Designer, Alejandro Garcia, First AC, Jordan Christopher, Second AC, Sofia Badzio, um, Gaffer and Dolly Grip, Nick, Nicholas Knight, Grip, uh, uh, Kyle, Sound, Rahil, Production Manager and Crafty, Amy Sai, BTS Real and Footage, Kayur, Kayur Sontara, Transportation and Dolly Grip, Jeremy Ma, Transportation, Colin, Colin, Post Production, Editor, Cindy, Fantastic, Colorist, Andres, and James Chase, Composer, Sorahun, and Sound Mixer, Kendrew, and Eli. Special thanks to Alex Sanga of Share Vancouver for providing donation, William F. White, and Michael of Burns and Sawyer. Thank you so much for Sanja TV and thank you for everything. Thank you so much, Siddhartha. And we are going to watch your film in its entirety right now. What does power mean to you, Tanvi? Uh, power means that I can control everything and everyone. Yes. In the game of chess, the queen is the most powerful piece. Project Papa activated. Time limit to unlock messages, 10 years. Hi, Tanvi. Would you like to play chess? Uh, sure. I've left you a friend, Rani. And she has something to tell you, but only if you beat her in a game of chess. What is on your mind today? I want to win. <laughs> what is the real intention behind winning? I want to know the message. That your father left. Yeah. And what will that achieve? Good try. That's not a checkmate. It's a stalemate. Mission accomplished. I didn't even win. It's not always it's about winning. winning. It's about enjoying the moment and being present. Termination directive implemented. Goodbye, Tanvi. 
Tanvi, wait! Excellent film. I'm looking forward to seeing it again and again because I bet you every time I watch it, I'll gain more from it. Am absolutely, I right? <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our viewers that are watching, make sure you attend ISAF in its entirety, September 28th to October 1st. Um, the location is Landmark Cinemas in Guilford. And for tickets and you know the whole lineup, you can go to isaff.ca. Esi sade ajda program. We will see you again next time. Methardi apni Sony West. Thank you.